Guy, bank earnings, uh, could they have been more dreary than the last two days' performance for bank stocks? I thought J.P. Morgan's numbers were really good. I thought Goldman Sachs, the numbers were good. Maybe the stock performance didn't Listen live up to... Listen to you, glass half full, Guy. No, I mean, come on. no, I'm but, I mean, look fired at the... up today. It's a beautiful day. It's Thursday. I mean, the weekend's right ahead of us. I, I mean, it's Look it's at you. It's, hold on. It's hump day, bro. It's not right What's ahead that? of us. And I know you love that term. It's hump day. It's oh, not it's right ahead Wednesday. of us. That's unfortunate. Uh, now you took me right down. You took me right down. You took, you, take, you took me from J.P. Morgan to Citibank. I mean, that's where you took me right there. Well... I, you know, today it's Bank of America and Wells Fargo, but Citibank, uh, let's be clear, you know, maybe has taken the mantle of the most disappointing money center bank from Wells Fargo, which, you know, ripped off. Uh, let me restate this. Wells Fargo, who has had a significant not only PR, but regulatory issue that's going on three to four years and can't get out of its own way. Uh, but the money center banks, which are supposed to be telling the tale of Main Street, which isn't so bad. Um, and yeah, Citibank, despite the fact that they named the first uh, female CEO in, in Wall Street history, and good for them, um, but the stock is a joke. Yeah, and it's interesting. You know, I, I can only, you know, I don't think there are coincidences out there, but it seems to me, and maybe you, you'll disagree here. But I know where this is going. I know. Ever, I, ever I, since, I know where ever this since is going. they bid against themselves, for the naming rights of, of for the Mets for Shea Stadium, it's been an abomination. And before you retort, because I know you're all fired up. Oh, I've got plenty. I got I, plenty. I yeah. found it. I just find it. It's so uncreative on their part. The Mets slash City that they completely ripped off the logo of Domino's Pizza for that stupid City Field logo. <laughs> they did not. No, so it looks like a ticket. It's a ticket, man. Come on. I mean, they're just okay. trying to be creative. I I, I have to with you, however, um, that I, I thought it was audacious coming out of the throes of the financial crisis that Citibank was paying Boku Dolores, as Spicoli would say, uh, for naming rights of, of what is still Shea Stadium to me. By the way, the Shea family, one of the great families, not only in New York history, but in sports history. Is that uh, right? The ties, the ties, yeah, the ties of Bill Shea into many franchises in this city and in this area. Um, it's extraordinary. I'll leave that alone because I, I just assume uh, we all continue to call it Shea Stadium. And, and, and what I'll also say is the absurdity of naming rights of stadiums around the country. Uh, we wonder why we're paying so much for our, our tickets. But more importantly, it's really the brands that are going out of their way. And then the absurdity, because then there's, there's uh, Jeff Bezos buying uh, the Seattle, whatever they're calling it, and calling it the climate change arena. Um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's one of these things where at one point, I think really... Uh, sports industry peaked from a media perspective. And I think we are on the downside until they figure out how to weave in things like gambling and interactive gaming and things we talk about all the time. Um, but I, I think we've jumped the shark uh, on how much entities are willing to fall all over themselves to name stadiums. I and mean, people like New Era uh, up in Buffalo, and it is Buffalo people. So I don't know how much you'd be paying anyway. Um, but yeah, and I said that. Um, so trying to get out of their deal, and this is going into 2020, which has been an even tougher year for them than the years before. So, um, so, so you brought something to. up that's interesting. You know, I'm, I'm not familiar with the, with the history of the Shea family. I'm sure it's a wonderful family. I'm sure there's Shays out there that walk amongst us, and I'm sure there are people with last names that have lineage to the Shays. Yes. Vis-a-vis -vis marriage, they're now... Uh, Smiths, let's just say. Yes. But if the Shays were so important to the New York and other area sports scene, why didn't somebody step up or why didn't the Mets as a franchise step up and say, you know what, the new Shea Stadium is going to be, in fact, Shea Stadium. And guess what, fans, because that's the way we feel for the next hundred years or as long as we stay in New York before we move to like Kansas or something, let's, it's going you know, to be Shea right. Stadium. So step off, step, step right off. And, and let's be clear about something. The most important thing, the baseball experience, the fan experience at Citi Field blows that away of, of the, the, the mausoleum stoic industrial park that is Yankee Stadium that used to be the house that, you, that Ruth built. In fact, right. you know, I don't right. know why we didn't let baby Ruth sponsor uh, the new Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium, which can't fill itself up with those luxury seats, the embarrassment uh, of watching a Yankee game and seeing all those big padded seats uh, behind home plate empty. 
uh, while you know there's a lot of people crammed into the bleachers saying all rise to Aaron Judge, looking like fools. By the way, yeah. uh, even I though agree it's not Aaron that. Judge, it's not Aaron Judge's fault. But it's not I Aaron agree Judge's with everything fault. you said there. No, so, it, it looks awful when you see um, empty <laughs> seats behind home plate. It's ridiculous. And that's you make fun of my of, apple. I mean, you make fun of my apple going up and down. And that's Stadium. you know. But 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 the absurdity of grown men and women um, going out and buying powdered wigs and robes in the middle of the summer and standing up and saying all rise every time one of the great players in the game who can't seem to stay on the field uh, gets up to the plate. It's kind of weird for me. But anyway, when we were, when we were kids, there was this that we uh, we went to the Galleria Mall. And yeah, I remember that. They, I went to the Galleria. Of course. They had um, they had, I believe. I worked in the food court. Of course you did. Yeah. Chess King, you know. I didn't work at Chess King. You were you, you bought you from Chess about, King. You had probably uh, like, you probably had a Chess place, King loyalty card. What's the place you saw Mill? What's that thing? The other thing you say? The other place that's a store? Yeah, Mary uh, go Mary go round, right? Mary go round. No, what I was gonna say was there was a one of these pop up stores and they sold a game called I believe it was Pachinko and you would put down a lever and a little BB would come up and it would you would try to get it into. Um, different different things on the on the board. It was like where you know, is this Plinko. going? Where is this I'm going? I'll tell you where yeah. it's going. Yeah. And if you got it in, it would you know something would open. It would be easier to get the ball. And the next time, here's my thought for the Mets. This would be great. Um, a Met hits a home run. That stupid apple comes up, and it has on top of the apple. It has an opening, and it should stay open until the next schmo from the Mets is actually hits one inside the apple, and then some. Some Met fan with their with their David Wright jersey potentially could win like a six pack or something on the back end. What do you so think about what, that? What you're describing is almost the uh, the minor league ballpark experience, which, by the way, most of the country experiences, and it's a family affair. It's a good time. Uh, oh, and by the way, minor league baseball franchises have never been worth more because of this kind of fun. Oh, I'm sorry, I can go to Yankee Stadium and I have to wear black and white. <laughs> Maybe I have to shave my facial hair. Oh, no, I, and think, I can't have a mascot because I'm so cool that I can't have a mascot. I think hey, they should what, have pal? a I, hit the ball, I I, hit the ball in the left field. You know, why not just go full bore since it is, in fact, effectively a minor league franchise? Go full hey, look, bore minor league. When, when my guys win a game on a last minute home run or a great catch in the outfield and they run on the field and they tear each other's jerseys off, which the polar bear likes to do, right, sure that is awesome. That is the passion of the New York Mets. That is the loyalty of the fan base. And it, look, if you guys at Yankee Stadium want to sit back uh, and have a $19 beer and, and enjoy your day and not be allowed to smile because somebody back then wrote a rule book for what a stadium experience is supposed to be. Anyway, let's get back to Wells Fargo and Bank of America, because in fact- Quickly, because um, we, we now we got to get boring, out of here. It's almost as boring investing in these stocks as it is going to Yankee Stadium. And if you look at Wells Fargo's underperformed the S&P by 63% uh, since uh, somewhere around Jan of 2020. Uh, if you look at Bank of America, it's underperformed by 37%. So we know the Wells Fargo story hasn't been good. The Bank of America story and Brian Moynihan, who's been around longer than just about anybody, you know, is that adding value? What is going on here that the banks are trading as if it's the financial crisis when, in fact, their balance sheets are supposedly better than ever? So um, that's I mean, my two rant. Words, I know we've got to get out of here. Two words, margin compression. And I think we should have a poll the worst name stadium in professional sports. We'll put that out there to the Twitterdom. Um, and tomorrow we're talking about Jose Altuve and his Steve Sachs-like play at second base. Best name for an arena, the world's most famous arena, self-titled New York City. See Bye -bye. you later.